should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. guys so this is my bow or the chicken <clears throat> chicken stew with um, vegetable spinach and okra and if you want to see how I make this you guys just keep watching this video and you will see how I make my chicken stew okay and um uh, today i'm drinking on frisca soda my favorite soda okay so now and i already tasted oh gosh it, uh, you you need to make this okay i'm telling you it is good 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 okay so let's see i'm gonna give you guys the first and this is kind of Look like the um the Richard it could be okra stew as well. But anyway, here you guys go. You could get the first bite. Mm, mm, mm. Don't that look good, you guys? And again, like I said, this is my first intro. Then I'm gonna, you know, uh this will be the first intro on my video. And if again, like I said, if you wanna um Watch how I make this. Just keep watching this video. Like this video. Get this video thumbs up. Share, share, share with your friends and family. Um, the show name was Cooking on My Cooking Channel. Mmm. Wow. And if this is your first time watching my cooking channel, share, share, share with your friends and family as well. Show them what's cooking on my cooking channel. Like, comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you don't mind. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see the next, and again, like I said, if you guys already already subscribed to my cooking channel, just make sure. Oh, if you guys are already, I'm sorry. If you guys are already um, subscribed to my cooking channel. Uh, thank you guys so much. And if you guys want to see the next upload video that I post on my cooking channel, just make sure you guys keep your notification bell on and you will see the next upload video that I post on my cooking channel. By that being said, you guys have a blessed day. And you guys, I didn't really want no thighs because them thighs was really, really big. Give you some spinach and everything. Wow, look at that, you guys. That is so awesome. Wow. I need to take my thumbnails. Mm. That is so, so good, you guys. Mm, mm, mm. I guess I could take a thumbnail here. Okay. I'll give you guys the first bite of the chicken. Whoo, that's hot. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Got a good bite. Whoo, that's hot, you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to give y'all guys the best bite. There you go. Yeah. Oh, mm, mm, mm. And if you guys use our fry this, you know, this chicken, and that's why it's very important you want to see how I cook this, you know, you will see how I fried it. And that, that chicken got a good flavor to it. All right, so you guys continue to keep watching. You want to see how I make this. Okay. Let me go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm. 
Oh, that's good. All right, bye-bye. See you guys in this upload video. Bye-bye. I just want to show you guys how it look. Chicken. Chicken head. The chicken thigh. I'm ready. Okay, you guys, so I have to make it quick because my video about to go on up and I'm making my husband a bow. So you got how I do it. So I look. Ooh, that look good, you guys, don't it? Okay, so I put some rice in a the bowl. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and put the soup. Like that. That's it, you guys. And I will show you mine when I make mine. So I'm just showing you how I do it. And then you just put up that's a big thigh. Sorry about that. My husband. That's a piece of chicken right there. And get him a chicken leg. There you go, you guys. That's how it look. Alrighty. And I'll show you guys mine in a minute. Well, welcome back to my kitchen, you guys. Today, I'm cooking some chicken stew. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wash my chicken up i'm gonna have chicken thighs and chicken leg so what i do you guys i wash it with vinegar you know to get all this uh bacteria stuff off of you and um this is the stuff that i'm gonna season my chicken with i love this seasoning you guys this is most of the season that i use when i made my okra stew soup and I really love this I need to add this for but each season that I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, one tablespoon of each that I'm pouring at okay you guys so if you want to pause the video stop it you can stop it if you want to and like I said, again, you guys could use any kind of season that you desire. You don't really have to add, you know, especially if you don't have this seasoning stuff. You could use the basic season when you do the chicken stew, okay? I just like this flavor, you guys, you know? So it looks like a lot of season, but it's not really because I'm going to add this one um teaspoon i did say tapes i mean teaspoon because they i got a lot of season you guys okay so yeah each season that i use you guys could pause it so that way you could guys can jot it down if you want to 
um, use the season I use with my chicken stew, okay? Um, I know they, uh, you know, I used to cook regular rice. I got regular rice, but I might cook uh, some couscous. Try something different, you know? And one thing that I don't have is canned tomato. I don't feel like going to no grocery store, okay, just to get canned tomato. I thought I had some in my pantry. I guess I did. But this right here is a, it's kind of basic as tomato. You know, it's a pecan sauce, but I might use some of this. This substitute from the tomato. And you guys, I really love this. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of this. This is so good, you guys. For any kind of soup and stuff, it's called the peanut butter soup. And maybe just a little of this. I'm pretty sure you guys saw me when I add this. I said, you have to be very careful because this is very spicy. Now, I'm making Vespa. Well, some people make chicken stew. They don't add Vespa with it, but I'm going to add Vespa with mine. And you can buy this in your local grocery store. It's called soup mix, and it got carrot, potatoes, because I like Vespa with my soup. You know what I'm saying? And this is a easy, another easy way, um, you know, you can cut down on the cooking. Buy these frozen in your local grocery store. It's already chopped up. And also, I'm going to add spinach and okra. So this this is going to be most likely, let me just aim this right here so you guys can kind of jot it, the green it down while, while I still talk. But, um, you know, this is going to be basic on um, when I made my okra stew, you know soup and stuff um so you gotta just stay tuned and stuff so when you probably see this is the main ingredient because that's the most most of the part because all this ingredient is mostly gonna season my chicken okay you guys so this is what i'm using i'm using the chicken thighs and drumstick i don't go ahead and watch so you might not see most of everything Main ingredient that what you really need to know how I make my chicken stew vegetable is the, how I season my chicken and what vegetable that I use. So I'm going to try to make this video as short as I can in my kitchen and stuff, you know. So so when you see the, when I season my chicken, I already been on wash my chicken. Um with vinegar okay so i'm going to get started to wash my chick i'll see you guys in a minute okay you okay you guys so i already washed my chicken off uh, so i'm going to show you guys i'm going to wash it with some vinegar as well but i'm not going to leave this on i'm just rinse just kind of wash it see just go like this just kind of massage it and watch it watch and then you guys I already put my season in my bowl that's how I look that's all the season that you saw it on um, my all my, um, my ingredients so I'm just kind of continue just washing it in case I just want to come back because if you guys see that see all that stuff is coming out look you see yeah, so you want some clean chicken. You don't know what's, you know. So I just keep watching it like this, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm just add my seasoning, mess it all up, and then I'm going to go ahead and fry it. Just kind of mess it. And also, on my, you know, my hand is nice and clean. So, yeah, just kind of let this marinate. Like I said, I'll probably let this marinate about 45 minutes in the refrigerator, okay? Because it's just kind of, you know, some people marinate this when they make chicken soup. I mean, chicken stew or chicken soup or whatever you want to call it. Uh, some people, you know, they marinate this overnight. It's probably be better if you marinate overnight. But, yeah, see how that is? 
Yep, it's gonna be a good, good, good season. So, if you guys jot down the season, and like again, like I said, if you don't have most of the season in your pantry, don't worry about it. You know, cause most like a chicken soup just only requires a little season, like salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and all season. So, yeah. So I just like a lot of flavor with my chicken. I don't care if I'm chicken, frying chicken, makes chicken, stew. I just like a lot of season, okay? If you understand what I mean, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, this is the oil that I'm using, in, you know, to fry my chicken. I guess you guys should remember that. Let my oil get up hot now. This oil really don't take that long, you guys. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put in my chicken. Skin side down first. Fry my thighs first, because that's probably take the longest, you know. So I will be right back when I fry all my chicken, you guys, okay? And then again, you guys, it's going to finish cooking, but this is going to be um, the chicken stew. You hop around a bit. And I'm just leaving the skin on, you guys, because you get more flavor to it. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to take it out. Put it on my plate. Sorry about that. I had a little dim this season. And then you guys are going to go ahead and add some more oil to it. Okay? I'll be right back. I'm going to take my chicken in it out. Okay, you guys see this right here? That's that season from the chicken. I'm not gonna get it out because it's good flavor. That's why I said keep watching, you know, because I'm gonna add some chicken broth to kind of loosen it up. Just a little. Then I'm gonna throw my chicken back in. Well, I'm gonna saute my onion, I'm sorry.
Okay, you guys, I'm going to just add my chicken for it. Um, you can finish cooking, okay? So I'm gonna finish letting this cook, you guys. Then I should be mostly done. Put some more chicken broth, fuck a can of ball. So I probably will cook this in uh, maybe about 30 minutes. Okay, then guys. You see how they're steaming? See? Just making sure that my chicken, you know, get while I add my spinach and my other okra. I just want to make sure, you know, <clears throat> the chicken get well done. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add two of the, these chicken broth. To give it more flavor okay all righty i'll see you soon okay you guys so i'm going to add two cups of water because it, it's really got a lot of seasoning okay very se seasoned i guess because when i brown the chicken that chicken is you know, when you brown chicken, you know. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I still not to add this, but I just like that flavor. And that's the only thing I'm going to add. I'm not even going to add uh, no piccana sauce, you know. I might and I might not. I'm, I'm just saying. So this is... How much I add in? That's enough. I'm gonna just stir it up. I just like that flavor. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, this? No, I'm recording. What this look like? Ask my daughter. What that look like? Even though this is my chicken stew, what that look like? Gumbo because you got right. Well, no, it just, it, it, it looked like gumbo, guys, it looked like gumbo soup, but, uh, yeah, and this is it, I'm going to cook another 10 minutes, and I did say I was going to make couscous, but you guys, I changed my mind, I made steamed rice, because it probably go better with it, okay, all right, I'll see you guys when I make my plate. This is done, so I hope you guys manage everything, you know, that I had all my ingredients, okay? That's why it's very important to keep watching my cooking channel, because if you don't, you'll never know what I manage or what I do not put in it, okay? Makes sense? Okay, now you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add my okra. I can tell right now, this is going to be some good soup, chicken stew, and then my last thing, I'll add the spinach. Okay, now I'm just add the spinach, you guys. And you got, you know what I'm going to call, even though this is going to be a chicken, this is my chicken stew, but it's kind of, you know, because... Um, I didn't have no canned tomato and and look like gumbo because you can make chicken gumbo like this too as well. So you can either call it, see how that is? Ooh, that look good. Good, good, good. <laughs> wow. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook. Maybe another 10 minutes and my, I'm going to call it a chicken 
gumbo stew. Yep, that's what I'm gonna call it, you guys. Ha, ha. I could call it either way if I want to. I could call it chicken. Still, I could call it chicken stew. I could call it chicken gumbo stew. Whatever. It is a stew or soup. Alright, so I'm done with this. I will see you guys when I make me a bowl. Alrighty.